Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Mug of Warm Witch. I know it's been a long, long time since I was supposed to be back on, since Christmas, uh, but I guess a lot of things have happened this new year, so I hope you're all doing well. And uh, I'm not going to be talking about it. We're trying to avoid it, right? I'm trying to keep busy. So what I've done is I'm going to be doing a uh, kind of unboxing. I bought some stuff from Hot Topic. Now, right now, I can't go to the stores. Obviously, they're all closed. So I had to order from the States. Wasn't too bad. About 20 bucks for shipping. I mean, others have been more harsh on my budget but um yeah so we'll start with this i haven't seen it it's unopened right now so we're gonna open it now i know what the items are but i haven't seen them yet okay so here we go all right so i don't look Take that out, there we go. Let's see now if you guys have a little sneak peek. All right, so what's the first thing I'm gonna pull out? Oh, oh the box. All right, box. So, oh, I think I know what this one is. Gotta talk, there's only a few items in here, so not much of a guess. All right, oh, well, it's nice that they actually very well. So let you know, this is a pop -up I bought. Um, it actually came in a nice protective cardboard box for once. All the other pops I buy everywhere else always either come in like in a bag, which is to me really not smart, uh, or um, they come in a box but they're not protected well. So this came in a box. Glad for it because it's a special edition one. Of course, most of the ones you can get from Hot Topic or some exclusives. So this is a Funko 2020 Spring Convention limited ex limited edition exclusive. Nymphadora talks. I saw her and I just had to grab her, of course, because I love talks. I love that she's so quirky. I guess that's why I like Luna too. But she's quirky. She's fun. And uh, I mean, who does like talks, especially? And. Um, I don't know yet. I don't think I'll open because it is a special one, but we'll see how I feel about it. I'm one of those people with the Funkos where most of them I will open because what's the point of having them in the boxes? I like to touch things. Um, I want to see it, you know, and you can't really see them too well. But some special ones I'm starting to rethink, so we'll see. But either way, she, uh, she's in her outfit in the Order of the Phoenix when she comes and gets Harry with the rest of the Order. And so yeah, I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm very pleased that I came in a protective box. That is one thing. It's a first for me. So I think I saw this in Hot Topic here in Canada um, around November I believe it was. No, sorry, it was after. Um, it was after Christmas and before the stores closed. I just didn't get it then because I didn't think about it, but I actually like it now. It's a picture frame. It's a Quidditch picture frame, and obviously it has a Gryffindor on it, which is perfect because that's my house. But um, I have so many parties, and I was thinking maybe I could put one of the photos, maybe my first photo in there, my very first Harry Potter party I did. All by myself, all my crafts, everything else. I guess I'll show you some pictures of that later too, but anyway, this was like $12.90 for it. So on the bad part, I mean you probably it was cheaper to get here. I think it was. I think it was only a few dollars more. But like you yeah, paying US pricing, right? For everything right now. So that's why I haven't bought a whole lot. But it's not too bad. It I actually think the pieces on here are wood or a thin piece of wood it feels like a nice sturdy frame for 12 bucks but yeah so I'll just get you a little closer there we go all right my final item there's not really much to show on a frame and uh I found go. So this I can help. I don't need any more purses or bags, but I mean, yeah. 
Okay, you're not going to see the sticker on it too well, so I'll just give you a quick glimpse of that. I'll open up the wrapping and show you. You'll understand why. I usually don't buy a lot of bags from Hot Topic either, because the bags that I have on, um, there was a Harry Potter Hedwig bag, mini backpack, the strap broken, took it back, and got a refund. Well, actually, exchange, and the strap's already going on it again. Um, I bought a Captain Marvel purse. The strap started going on it. Took it back. Got a return or exchange. Sorry, saying that, um, and it's already going as well. So I'm a little iffy on buying bags, especially ones that have thin straps. Um, so I'm really hoping this works out. But oh my god, look at a Luna bag. Oh, isn't that amazing? Look at the watercolor details, too. Whoever does that, it's beautiful. It's like someone actually painted it right on there. I mean, we go around here, look, it has her Spectre specs all along the sides there. And I love on the back there. Exceptionally ordinary. Lena Lovegood, isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> so. I think this is a pretty cool bag. So it has nice sturdy handles here. It does come with a strap as well. It looks here. Um, let's see if I can get it open. Oh, it has a nice little clothes on it. That's nice. And get rid of all the papering stuff out of it. And give you a little sneak peek inside there. Oop. Try that again. There you go. And it has just the one pocket. So yeah, we're just right in there. But it's a nice little bag. Um, I'm trying to remember how much. Uh, oh, actually, it does. The tags right on it. $39.90. So it was a little bit, but it wasn't cheap for a bag, to be honest. And a Harry Potter bag. Let's see if we'll take this off and I'll show it to you here. Alright. So yeah, you can see it so you could just carry it like this if you wanted, if you like one of those types of bags. Close it up. Yeah. So you just carry it, yeah. Or just like a little pouch purse. Or a handbag, I guess. This word is considered a handbag, huh? But yeah, so this was my favorite item to get. I was really looking forward to this one, for sure. It's not bad material either. So it's just a couple little things you guys want to see. Um, I will be coming back with some more videos, just taking a little time right now. And now that I got a little bit of time off, I guess, since a lot of us do in isolation, um, I hope to have some more coming. Busy cleaning up and getting things going. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a short video right now, but I hope you guys will return. If you do like, please give it a good big thumbs up. And if you do want to continue to see my videos, which I mean you might not be sure yet, but please give it a try. Uh, so feel free to subscribe below, okay? Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.